Hello and welcome to my video. So today I will be showing some of the drawings that I've done while I was away. Uh, I might accidentally include some drawings that I already showed because I can't just go through all of my old videos and check. But uh, yeah, so it, obviously there might be a lot of skill difference uh, because I mean it's two years but hopefully that is interesting to watch and I'm not showing all of the sketchbooks today just some sketchbooks here and there uh, s because otherwise the video might be a bit too long um, so anyway let's start with this blue sketchbook so um, this drawing I might have shown it before because it has it was done in 2018 in January uh, but um, this is just a scene that I drew uh, while I was at a beach and this is my mom also drawing just a rough sketch and this is a hand I drew and a bit of a stylized banner and here's another sketch that I did of a beach I don't draw scenery very often so it's good that I got to practice even though it's not like that that good um, it's always good to practice um, because otherwise how are you going to improve? Some sketches that I did I think some of these might have been my family members and here's just some post sketches A portrait um, Yeah, I, I was I think at this around this time I was kind of getting around um, getting into this kind of uh, wave wavy style where you have the pinks and the blues and the cool shapes in the background I think in those times they really liked the kind of computer graphics as well I uh, obviously I can't really do it that well in a sketchbook but uh, I think I started incorporating stuff, some stuff like that um, in some places because I think in like the nine uh, in the 90s they just started doing computer graphics yeah, same with this. I think this is kind of like the, the background is similar to the stuff that you would have there because of the kind of computer graphics. And this is all in January 2018. So you might have seen it, but you get to see it again. <laughs> just some sketches. Kind of like doing sketches where you just go and draw stuff without really planning it out. And this is, was one of them. I think it's kind of funny how some of them are peeking out. <laughs> this is a self-portrait. I think I was waiting uh, at a train station after hanging out with my friend and yeah I just did a sketch. I think I might have looked at a photo for a friend. I think I just literally got my phone snapped a photo of my face and then sketched it. And these are just some sketches of Zerfalia. Uh, my character from my comic. If you go on my channel, um, you'll probably see it. Um, I think I started when I was 14, so it's pretty old, but I don't know, I think it's fun. <laughs> but anyway, so here's another sketch. Um, yeah, I have these um, fine liners, a blue and a pink, and I think they they look nice together. Another sketch. kind of a sci-fi style sketch here. Uh, I remember not really liking how it turned out and I think like there's some issues with like the anatomy but I don't know it's kind of fun. And this was drawn with a rainbow pencil. It's kind of cool how the colors shift but it was just a sketch. I think I did it um, when hanging out with my friend. Maybe I bought the pencils when I was hanging out with my pen uh, with my friend and I just sketched a quick drawing and yeah another portrait. I do portraits a lot when I don't know what one to draw. Um, it's kind of fun and this is actually a lot of months skipped. So this is in 2018 and this is 2018 this is 2020, so I think I didn't use the schedule for like two years. Uh, but yes, I'm kind of a uh, like cyberpunk person here with magic, I guess. 
Um, it's kind of like a cool design. Very edgy. A quick scene I drew with some mock because I think I wasn't really feeling like uh, like drawing a scenery because I don't really like them. It takes too long and I get bored but it's good to practice. Um, so I think I literally just did it in like a minute or two. But I think this is a sketch I did from a photo. This might also be a sketch I did from a photo I can't remember exactly. Uh, and I think that those were all done on the same day. So I didn't use the sketchbook for... Uh, well, this one was done two days before, and then all of these are on the same day. So I didn't use it for two years, and then uh, almost finished it in <laughs> like one one or two days. Uh, here's, I think it was also from a photo. Um, I think it was like a model modeling these clothes, and I just sketched um, the photo. Here's another scenery here. I don't really take much time on sceneries because I get bored, but uh, this is supposed to be a pond. I'm not sure if you can see uh, some trees growing here, some grass, uh, and there's lily pads. You can't really tell because it's so sketchy, but I don't know. <laughs> I can tell what it is, and I remember what, um, sitting there, so at least there's some use. Uh, here's some swans and other types of birds. Um, this one was sitting, uh, I think it was dunking its head into the water. Uh, there was also a swan eating lily pads. I didn't know they just ate the flowers, but uh, I should have sketched that because I, I was sketching the birds and then I looked over to my mum, who was also sketching, and she sketched it eating the flower. It was so funny. Uh, but yeah. Here's another drawing. This is just some grumpy child coming back from school or something and or maybe i don't know uh kindergarten because here where i live um we actually have school uniforms so they wouldn't be allowed to wear this in school and here's a portrait hmm i haven't looked at it for a while but i kind of like the colors that i used i think i i just got the this blue pen um I might show my art supplies in a later video, but I really like those pens. Uh, they're really nice and um, flowy, like they, they don't clog up and the colors are nice. And it's kind of fun that the colors um, aren't really what you'd expect. Like I think the line art is actually a bit lighter than some of the shadows. Uh, but yeah, it was just a quick sketch. Just kind of fun. And I think that's the end. So yeah, uh, I think... I finished that sketchbook uh, just because I had some le um, pages left over. So we'll look at the sketchbook. I actually had the sketchbook for a while, uh, but I don't use it that often. I don't know why. It's kind of cute. Um, it has different colored pages, and like I don't know. Do you, do you guys also have a bunch of sketchbooks that uh, you like but you don't? use them all because I mean I have too many sketchbooks to finish at once so I'm kind of trying to go through them instead of buying more uh, but that is very hard I keep buying notebooks at sketchbooks it's just it's a problem <laughs> but um, yeah I, I drew some things and I think this yeah this is 2016 so I definitely should have shown this um, this is just a character from my comic if you want you can read it And I think I should have shown this as well. I still like this drawing, even though it's pretty old. And this is Taylor on, um, character from my comic. I probably showed this one as well. Uh, if I drew it today, I'd probably change some of the values to be like more extreme because you can't really see like the, the eyes um, and like so some of the shadows aren't really deep enough. But yeah, it's kind of cute, I guess. Um, Another drawing. I think it's also pretty old. It's kind of interesting how this paper was actually able to take watercolor, even though it's so thin. Like it's thinner than printer paper, but although it like gets buckled, like this one is completely fine. I think maybe I, pr I press it down with like a book afterwards or something. I don't know. But these ones are scrunched up, but it still works. Like it's not falling apart. I find it interesting. Um, but the paper is pretty good for markers, as you can see. I used markers for this one, and it worked pretty well. 
Here is another one I think I used a grey marker here and some silver sharpies, but they don't really look that shiny anymore. Uh, I think it's maybe, I don't know why, I think it maybe the paper absorbed them too well and the shine went. Uh, another drawing with markers, I think it was just a quick sketch. A sketch of a cat person. Another sketch. And I think this one, yeah, this one is recent. That one was from <laughs> like a year or two ago. Uh, and that one is from a few days ago. Um, I think I used some just regular highlighters. I don't really use expensive uh, like markers or anything. So it was just highlighters and some pencil. And I think the colors turned out really nice. I like how I used the um, purple fine liner. Now we are on to the next sketchbook, which is a watercolor sketchbook. Uh, it's actually pretty good. It was pretty cheap. Um, not sure exactly how much. It was $5. Um, but it is pretty good. Uh, I like it personally because the watercolor paper is pretty expensive here most of the time. Uh, so it's really nice that I have something to use. I'm sure it's not like as good as the more expensive ones, but at least it's something, you know? And here I just had a cute, uh, like a quick sketch of a portrait. Uh, just to test the paper, I think. Some sketches I did for an assignment at university. Uh, just some illustrations for it. It's kind of fun doing illustrations. This diagram is just showing the parts of a flower and what bits you have to mutate to get different shapes. This is all the same species of flower, but if you mutate, um, mutate certain genes, uh, it forms different types of uh, like shapes, I guess, like pheno phenotypes, scientifically they're called. Uh, so here you can see it has a lot of petals, uh, and in the other ones it's kind of really messed up so, so uh, what's interesting is actually roses um, that you normally see you, you know how there's like uh, more wild roses that only have like a few petals and then there's the roses we usually think of which have a lot of petals well a similar thing happened to them so yeah F fun fact um, anyway so I think yeah I think here it's it's more of the science illustration but the rest of the page was left blank so after I scanned it and uploaded it to to the assignment. I just sketched a drawing. And this was all uh, 2018 so far um, in the sketchbook. Um, this one was done at the end of 2018. And this one was done almost a year later in 2019. This is Israfelia. Kind of like this sketch. Uh, so yeah, I think it was pretty recent because now it's 2020. This is at the end of 2019. Uh, but I, I like how I kind of used uh, the different colors here. Um, I think it's it's a cool drawing. It's is really for my comic. <laughs> and here is a sketch from 2020. It's not that good, but I was just uh, testing some gouache that I got. I'll probably do a review of this gouache actually uh, later, so look out for that video. Um, but yeah, that's the end of this sketchbook. Next up we have this tiny little sketchbook. I think I might have shown it before, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I have like a little sketch here, self-portrait. My cat. This is all 2018, so you might have seen it. Another cat. A portrait again. Use some gold pens for this. Another portrait. <laughs> I don't love portraits because for me they're the easiest thing to do. Kind of abstract drawing. Another portrait. Another portrait. 
flower. <laughs> I think I actually drew this to do embroidery. Uh, maybe I'll do a video where I show you my clothes that I made. Because um, I made this like uh, skirt and I embroidered a flower on it and it looks cool so. A portrait I think it's just a quick sketch. I think I did this sketch. I didn't really want to draw but I also kind of wanted to draw. You know that feeling? So uh, I just did a quick sketch like this. Um, I think here I was testing out some markers that I got for free. Another sketch. Another sketch. This is Israfeli. I think I put a little more effort into this one. Some of the previous ones, but it was still a quick sketch. But yeah, this is Israfeli from my comic. And it was actually done this year. And here's another sketch I did. I think I did it on the train. And this was done this year as well. And that's the end of the sketchbook. Now we're moving on to the sketchbook. I think I actually showed a lot of drawings from this one because I had it for a while. You might remember it. Uh, yeah, it's from 2016. You probably remember some of these drawings, but uh, this one I'm not sure if I've shown. So I'll start from here. Uh, this was done in 2018. It's some kind of fairy or something sitting on a flower. Or maybe it's a giant flower and it's a human sitting on it. <laughs> this is a portrait. Again, this is like uh, me like using some of the wave wave style. Uh, and I use Sharpies for that. And for here it's just like a text or something. Like for the skin color. Here's another portrait. I think it's kind of cute looking. I like the style I did for the eyes. And here's a little scene. I actually think that I like this drawing. Um, like one of my, f that's I think this is one of my favorite ones from the sketchbook. Uh, I don't know if it's actually good, but I still like it. <laughs> I kind of like the clothes uh, this person is wearing and the background, even though the background is pretty simple, I think it kind of like creates a kind of like atmosphere, at least a little. Um, I mean, obviously, this drawing is still kind of like a mostly sketch, but I, I, I don't know, I like it for some reason. <laughs> Here is another drawing I did. I was just playing around with the kind of style where you, uh, I guess it's like monochrome. But, yeah, I don't know. It was kind of fun to do. <laughs> and here is a sketch that I was going to scan and color digitally. Um, and I'm, I was using the pens that I talked about earlier. The ones that are good. Uh, and, yeah. It's just... Again, I think it's the same clothes that I drew from before. I reuse a lot of the things because I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I'm glad that I am doing some backgrounds because I tend to be too lazy to do them usually. So yeah, well done past me for drawing backgrounds. And I think, yeah, I think that's the last drawing um, in the sketchbook. I have some other sketchbook to show you, but I'll leave them for later because I don't want this video to be too, too long. Uh, so yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, leave a like and subscribe, uh, definitely. It will be good motivation for me to do more videos and not leave for two years again. <laughs> it's just a little bribe. But anyway, so if you have any suggestions for videos you want to see, feel free to leave them in the comment section. Uh, but it doesn't guarantee that I'll do them, obviously. You know, I'm going to be like, do a video of you jumping off a bridge. And I'm like, yeah, that sounds great. Um, anyway, I'll see you all later. <laughs> Bye.